Welcome to this evening's session. Chroesoch i'r sesiwn nos beth yma. Fe enw i yw Mrs. Beth and Morgan, a fi sydd yn disgu'r pwnc yn Nyffryn Amen. My name is Mrs. Beth and Morgan, and I deliver the subject here at Ysgol Dyffryn Amen. Here students follow the Level 3 NCFE Certificate in Travel and Tourism. The subject has been a popular choice at the school for a number of years, as students achieve excellent grades. The course sees students achieve distinction and distinction star grades year on year. These are equivalent to A star and A grades at A level. The nature of the travel and tourism course lends itself well to students who work consistently throughout the sixth form as there are no exams in the course. You may have heard of BTEC courses and we have run these successfully for a number of years. However, these courses are changing and now include examinations. The NCFE course is almost identical in terms of content to the previous BTEC and A-level courses we offered at the school. And knowing the pressures and uncertainties of exam situations and environments, students will most definitely benefit from continuous assessment throughout their two years. As there are no exams, students are assessed through different coursework units. There are three units of study in Year 12 and another three in Year 13. At the end of each unit, students will be awarded a pass, merit or distinction grade, which is equivalent to E, C and A grades at A level. And the qualification is recognised as equal in the university application process and also in the world of work. In case you are unfamiliar with the university or UCAS process, tariff points are collected from the grades achieved in each subject and qualification day. So vocational subjects such as this one carry the same number of points as any A-level. Assessment of the coursework modules is carried out internally within the school before a sample of work is checked by NCFE. Each unit of work comprises of assignments that are set with a practical work-based context which allows students to apply knowledge to working practice. A pass must be achieved in each of the assignments set over the two years and there are additional tasks to complete to achieve a merit or distinction in each of the units. Students are given full support throughout their studies with feedback offered to improve grades and reach potential. When I'm asked what is travel and tourism all about, my simplest answer would be that travel and tourism is a mixture of geography, business and economics, but of course there's a lot more to it than that. And you don't need to have studied any of these subjects before, as everyone will start at the same point. As you will see in Year 12, there are three mandatory units of work to complete. In the first, students will explain the range of travel and tourism organisations operating in the UK. They will look at the subsectors of the industry, for example, tour operators, travel agents and accommodation providers. They will look at the organisations, their ownership and how they work together. And finally, students will analyse the impact of recent developments on the UK industry, which of course will comprise of Covid, Brexit, terrorism and exchange rates, to name just a few. In the customer service unit, students will be required to evaluate uh, customer service provided by travel and tourism organisations. They will need to understand good service and be able to assess it. They will learn about managing customer service and they will also take part in practical role play assessments. The final unit, students will look at employment opportunities and trends in travel and tourism. They will study jobs within different sectors, for example, sports, adventure or music tourism. They will prepare for a career in the industry by undertaking a skills profile and understanding the selection and recruitment process. They will take part in a travel and tourism interview and they will also evaluate their own performance for a chosen job. The Year 13 units have been chosen from 20 different optional units. The final choices will be decided with the group at the end of Year 12 but all have exciting opportunities to study in different areas. For example, in Unit 11, students will evidence work through digital marketing campaigns using social media. Unit 21 will look at a completely different reason for travel, 
rather than leisure travel, i.e. holidays, they look at business travel and the different requirements and services here. Unit 10 will look at wedding hosting and managing music festivals and major sporting events. It will be a difficult decision as I know there are some really interesting and exciting elements with all the units and students are taught how to manage such operations so it really does push their skills up a level. Expectations within the course. Students will produce a large amount of work and so they need to be organised and dedicated enough to work between lessons and meet expected deadlines. The evidence required in the course takes a number of formats and so strong English written and verbal skills are required. Ideally, students will have a C grade or above at GCSE. They will need to reference and acknowledge all sources of information within their work. This isn't a course where students can afford to drift along and excel only during exam or test time. There isn't any room to hide in vocational courses as students will always be working on their evidence. By now, after all the distance learning students have been doing, they should have developed good ICT skills, which is a requirement of the course as most work is presented in this way. Students will also develop confidence and skills in order to participate in typical work-based role plays. Students are expected to carry out a lot of research of which, which they must select, use and analyse. And this is an excellent skill developed within vocational courses such as these. They will help students immensely if they are to progress uh, to university. Many students go on to pursue their studies or find work within the travel and tourism industry and I've highlighted some more recent employment opportunities the students have found. Camp America is always a popular experience and although things are a little unstable at the moment, it is important to remember here that the industry and associated opportunities will open up again, hopefully relatively soon, as of course we've all been dreaming of travelling over this past year, more so than ever. Travel and tourism jobs usually make up around 10% of the UK workforce and hopefully for the industry it will recover quickly uh, following the pandemic and will create new and exciting jobs and careers. The majority of students at Ysgol de Frenamen progress to university and there are many courses available to study the subject further. Here are just a few examples. Event management and international travel management are always popular choices for those who continue with the subject. And the course also lends itself well as a background to students who may be thinking about studying sport and leisure, geography or business at university, for example. Thank you for listening to the presentation this evening. There will now be the chance to ask any questions about the course.